Hi, this is Joe from RX Healthy Habits. And in our video today, we're gonna to talk about the formula that you need to know to calculate how much you can eat per day and not gain weight. And of course, if you're trying to lose weight, we can talk about that too. But we're gonna talk about how many calories per day can you consume uh, during the course of a day and not gain weight. So there's, there's three things I wanna identify for you. One is I wanna uh, give you that formula. Two, I want to really encourage you to find your number by doing the calculation, by following the formula. And number three, I wanna really impress upon you the importance of it. And we might cover some of that in the third video, but we'll cover some here. So real quick, how do you find out how many calories you need per day? It's real simple. It's a formula, and I love formulas, I'm a pharmacist. Uh, it's real simple. It's called TEE, Total Energy Expenditure, equals your BMR, that's your basic metabolic rate, plus your PAL, that's your physical activity level, plus your TEF, TEF stands for thermogenic effect of food. Now, let's go through these real quick. A BMR, what is that? That's the minimum calories your body needs per day to function just to run your organ systems. Uh, that's required for basic. So if you laid in bed and didn't do anything, the number you have for your BMR is just that. What's it take for you to have minimal function as a human being? That's 60% of your total energy expenditure, believe it or not, is just your normal bodily functions. Now, what's a PAL? A PAL is your physical activity level, and of course, that can vary. Um, that can vary, but typically you're looking at 20 to 25 percent of the number of what you're going to get for your TEE is going to be your uh, exercise. That's going to, of course, be altered by the amount of exercise. And the third thing is the thermogenic effect of food. This is things that you can affect a little bit, but this is basically what effect food has on your body. Digestion, for instance, if you eat more protein, you eat uh, cinnamon, you eat maybe uh, hot pepper things that increase your, you know, your, that rev you up a little bit. Caffeine is a big one. Uh, typically that is only 10 to 15% of your total energy expenditure, so that's small. But uh, in, the, in the last video, we'll talk a little bit about how you can affect that a little bit by, you know, increasing your hydration, etc. cetera. But uh, I wanna go through that because once you know that, it's gonna really help you understand how much you're actually expending each day. So how would you calculate the BMR? Well, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is in the uh, RX Healthy Habit, there's some links about uh, the BMR. It's called the BMO calculator. All you do is type in your, your numbers, which would be your height, your weight, your age. It'll give you that number, which your body would need if you did nothing but pretty much sit on the couch all day and watch uh, binge, uh, binge watch Netflix, okay? <laughs> That'll give you an idea. It's also gonna be one there for your TEF uh, that you could do, that's your thermic effect of food. And uh, you can do the same thing based on your age, height. Uh, you can put the formula in there. And get that number. Then the last thing is your physical activity level. Now this one you're going to probably want to calculate by starting to track that a little bit on your, on any device you have, whether it's a wearable or whether it's your smartphone. There's a lot of tools out there. But here's a big takeaway from this video. What is your number and what if you threw in there 300 calories per day up to 500 calories per day for exercise? What would that come out to be for your total energy expenditure? And remember, in the course of a week, if you consume more than 3,500 calories than you expend, that gives you a pound of weight gained. So you wanna come out even with your total energy expenditure and your intake, does that make sense? So now, you're gonna find out in the third video how we're gonna help you affect uh, the, the most important number, and, and that is you gotta take a look at your uh, PAL. But until you know what your, your BMR is, until you know the fact that it's pretty low, you're probably not gonna make the things to move on. And then uh, the next video also, we're gonna talk about calories. Uh, it is pretty much calories in, calories out. Um, and you're gonna find out that maybe we need to take a look at some of the calories you're consuming and say, hey, I need to make some changes here. So anyway, hey, keep your seatbelt on. We're coming up on the round